And we are live. Thanks everyone for joining us today. My name is Gina with Social Connect at White Glove and I'm here today to talk with Ken New. Hey Ken, how are you? I'm doing well, Gina, how are you? Good, did you have a good weekend? Great weekend, yes, you? Good, I, I can't complain. Otherwise, good. it's just, it's it's a little chilly in Michigan. Uh, nothing compared to that uh, sunshine state of yours there in Florida. Well, there is that. <laughs> we need some of that sunshine in the Midwest. Well, we'll send it up to you. How's that? I, I would love that. Uh, Ken will be answering some important questions regarding estate planning in the time of coronavirus. Ken, you get you ready to get started? I'm ready. All right. First question I have for you is, why should you get your estate prepared now, even if you are healthy? And what can go wrong if you are not prepared? So that's a great question. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we have this illusion that we're healthy, so there's really nothing to do. And even if you are healthy, it, it's really important that you have an advanced directive and um, to take care of any medical decisions, because you never know when bad would happen. Uh, also, to have some attorney, um, to have the power of his attorney on the financial decisions. So the advanced directive is for healthcare, and the uh, power of attorney is for the financial decisions. So those are two really important things that you'd want to have in place just so your family, your loved ones know what to do and where to turn when that happens. What are some immediate steps you can take from now from home to protect yourself and your loved ones? Yeah, so really just getting back to the uh, to, to point uh, one, the question one is, is to put that advanced directive in place and communicate it. Uh, talk to people about the health care wishes that you have in place, uh, the power of attorney for financial decisions, uh, any of the asset titling would be important. Make sure that you have, uh, you have an executor and, and someone's appointed uh, uh, and, and someone would be appointed for minor children uh, to take care of them in the event that that happens. Uh, so really just kind of an extension of the first question there. Okay. And can who can actually help me with the estate planning? So financial planners, I think, are a great place to start. Um, we work with uh, attorneys and, uh, and we understand your financial circumstances. So we're really in a, in a position to be able to look at the big picture and have discussed income needs and asset needs and, and, and what your wishes are in the estate planning side. And so, um, so work with, an, uh, with the uh, financial planner. They're going to be working with attorneys that know the local law and state law and, uh, and be able to put your wishes to, to, uh, to work for you. Awesome. What do I do with these documents once they are prepared? Yeah, so, you know, um, that's a really great question because many times we uh, prepare documents and we put them in a safe place and that safe place is such a great place we forget where it is. And, um, and, 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 and I would call it a kind of a grab and go, kind of a, a, a quick exit kind of thing, just like you would with car keys or any of that. And uh, so we're here in Florida and we have hurricanes. And so everyone here, or many, many people do, they put themselves in position to where they can grab their documents, they can grab what they need, and they're ready to go with that. And they have everything necessary uh, to be able to have decisions made and so on. All right, awesome. What do I need to do to protect my legacy in case of death? So the most important thing, I think, is to be able to communicate it, to be able to have a conversation with those that you trust. And, and look, that could be your eldest child. It could be uh, a brother or sister. It could be many different people. But whom it is that you trust to make those difficult decisions if and when uh, a bad situation would happen. So we all know that death is gonna be a reality one day. And so in many ways we prepare for that, but what if we have a capacity issue? What if we were to have a scenario where we're, we just can't make decisions? We have uh, cognitive issues or there's been an accident of some kind and we're compromised. And so it's really, really important to be able to have that discussion ahead of time while you're of good mind and to be able to help the family and your loved ones understand what your wishes are so no one's put in an awkward position and uh, and everyone understands what the uh, final decisions are for you. Ken, that was a lot of great information. Thank you so much for answering all of my questions and for your time. 
Absolutely. I was very glad to be here. Thanks for having me. I look forward to our next Facebook Live. Me too. Uh, if you want more information about this topic discussed, click on the link above and it'll take you directly to Ken's business page where you can get more information on estate planning. Ken, enjoy that beautiful, beautiful Sunshine State. Thank you. We will talk soon. Bye, Bye. everyone. Bye